Hi there, I'm Bill Story of the Old Hood Group and welcome to our podcast series called Future Living. Many years ago, I met a man who owned a tremendously successful nightclub, bar and restaurant. It was out in the countryside in its own grounds. It was a spectacular place. One day, he visited an office that I was working in at the time. As I looked out the office window, I noticed his Rolls Royce out front. I commented to him how impressed and hugely jealous I was. So he said, it's open, go take a peek. I did, amazed that he had left it in a somewhat dubious part of town. Anyway, I sat in the driver's seat and felt great. I was still fairly young at the time, so was impressionable, I think that's the right word, with flashy cars and especially a roller, as we called them back then. I had never been near one before far less inside one. I glanced around and there in the back seat floor was a huge bag of cash, half open. Lots of bundles of cash wide open. I went back inside and mentioned it to him. He he chuckled and he said, Look son, if you ever get to the stage in life when money becomes your obsession, eh, then it's time to start thinking about something else. It's only money. You see, he said, money is the square root of all evil. I love that phrase. Never heard it said that way before. I've remembered his twist on the otherwise well-known phrase for all these years. And it has always made me think about looking into the future and holding on to the dream of making lots and lots of money. He wasn't being smart or, or boastful. He just knew that while he had worked hard to get to where he was in life, that on his journey he had come across many situations where he could have taken the wrong turn, tempted by money. Yet, as we all look into our futures with the dream of having more money, lots of more money, that maybe we should slow down a wee bit and consider whether the obsession of wanting more money is causing us to ignore other things in life. I understand that money is critical for our chosen lifestyle. We do all want more money and better lives. But are we focused too much on making money instead of spending quality time with the family? Or sitting in the garden watching the flowers grow? Or going for a nice walk along the beach or or through the forest? I'm still not sure if money really is the root of all evil, far less the square root. But I do believe that our obsession with wanting more money can sometimes make us ignore or or simply forget the real pleasures in our life. If we concentrate on a new project or a new job or a new business and push the focus on how much money we'll make to the side, then we should be able to use our natural ability and skills to make the new venture a success. Then we can concentrate all our energy on the various parts of the new venture, not just the money. So money may not be an evil thing, but it certainly impacts our thinking, especially when we focus too much time and effort on getting more. So never lose sight of money, but always look around to see what other pleasures exist in your life. You'll find a higher and wider level of satisfaction and joy. Try it.